Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now, we have did only the get request. So the fetch method, we have used the fetch method to get only the to make the request only the get request we have made it. Now in this video, we will see how to make the request. That, that, that is nothing but post request. Let's try to see how we can make a post request. So first, let's try to take this JSON placeholder. So I am trying to take this JSON placeholder. And here we are having this JSON placeholder, right? Slash post like this. Let's try to take this one. And here I will be copying this one post slash post up to here. If I paste it here, so if you see here the post thing, so it will return you the all the posts. So first try to take this one and we'll do the post request. If you go here, we are having this post.js file. Let's go into the post.js file. And the URL we are having is the this one post and here we need to do the fetch request so fetch we need to call this url so instead of calling this url i will try to do this one in a different way so we need to make a request we need to create a request so here i will create the request is equal to new request new request and here we need to pass the two things first one is the url and the second one is the options so now here options means nothing but what i can say is we can here we can create options options is equal to so the method for this one is post get request so first we'll try to do with the get request so that's it the method we, we are getting is the get request and now we got the request and we have pasted this one so this is the request and we can pass this request variable like this directly so that's it so this is another way so using the request interface we are trying to create the request so i will try to show you what is the benefit of this one when we are doing the post request now here we'll be getting the response okay so we got the response and what we need to do if response dot okay if not response dot okay if it is not of response dot okay then we need to throw new error of record or anything so i am trying to do some I am giving some message, so I don't want to check all the errors and all those things. So then you will return response dot json. Now we got the response dot json. So now next we got the response dot json. So then we will get the data. Let's do console dot log data. So we got the data and we have did the console dot log data. Now what I want to do? So the last one is a catch of error. So we will be catching this error. And here in this error, what I can do? Let's try to catch console.log error. And here we can keep something like error dot message. That's it. So however you want, we can do it. So this is the fetch request, how we can do it. So now we have this one all main.html and we have did the fetch request. Let's see whether we are able to get this data or not. So this is our request. And if I try to refresh this page, so here we are able to get all the data. So now we have made a get request. If you go to the JSON placeholder, if you want to make a post request to so creating a resource. So this one is a post request for the slash post. So we can we need to pass the data like this for the fetch request and we need to get the data. So this is the post request how we are trying to make it. So let's try to do it. The same thing which I want to do it is the post request here. So I am changing it to post request. So we need to pass the headers. So for these headers, instead of passing like that, we can also use the header interface. So we have a header interface like new headers. And here I can add headers dot append. Content type, I can use the content type. And that one is application slash json care set is equal to utf-8. We can use it like this. So that is nothing but so how they are trying to send it so they are the same scenario they are trying to send it so here utf 5 and 8 so fine so we are saying we are we have added the headers and here we can use the headers thing so i am passing the headers now we need to pass the post data so that means the data which we how we need to send it so here we are sending it as a json dot stringify and it is consisting of title body and the user id okay so let's create the object for this one and afterwards we will convert it into json so let 
post is equal to we need to have a user id which is of a one one i will try to keep it and title so simple sample title or anything i can use it and the body which need to have so i can have lower emission or anything okay so this is the body and we need to pass this body uh, so now here body is equal to so now here i will convert it into json so json dot stringify of post that's it so now there is no need to do anything so post request we are trying to send it if you want you can also keep it like this and headers and uh, url options we are training send fetch request then a error occurred and we got the response of json and we'll try to do it so if you try to see the output for this one see this time we are able to make the post request if you try to see here see so this is the post request we are making a post request and the request address we are trying to send it we are able to see it content type application json and the payload we are trying to send it is a json type and we got the response the same response so as these are dummy apis and all those things it will not save the resource and all those things it will send the resource as it is so here we are having the resource so let's try to show this one all so here we are having one view with an idea of output let's take that input output variable so here let output element is equal to document dot get element by id of this output okay so this output element and we need to show this output right so here i can show directly that the entire object i will try to show so here i can use text content is equal to json dot stringify okay json dot stringify mm, what i can do json dot stringify mm, of data okay json dot stringify of data that's it if you try to see the output we are able to see the all output right so this is how we will be making the post request in the using the fetch method so what we have did here we have the url and we have created the headers by using the header interface so headers is equal to new headers and whatever the headers you want to append it you can append it here so these are the headers i am trying to append it and here i am creating the post body so the data which i want to send it through the post request i am preparing this data so it is consisting of an object it's a javascript object user id title and body it is having and this is the options so which is having method and headers which are have created and the body so this body the data which you are trying to send it i am converting into json here so we have converted into the json and this is the request so here we need to make a request right so i am creating a request and the url and an options i am trying to create it so these are the options and here we are sending this request directly and we got the response if the response is not okay means then we are trying to throw error which will which will be written it, it will be catched in the this catch block uh, and here you will be able to see the response.json it returns a promise and again i am having a promise chain and here i am trying to convert it into the json data everything and i am trying to show it in the output so this is how we will trying to show it so this is how we will be making this post request hope you understood about this post request if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you